I thought I'd just take a quick minute or so to talk about the pinstriping process. Now, glaze in the shop here is pretty rare. I think I can count on two hands the number of times a glazed uh, stain or a uh, paint has actually gone through the shop here, and it's pretty rare. Um, but this one here, we're actually matching a big box store cabinet company, and this is, the color's kind of unique, but it was more so the glazing. They wanted to have the, the pin striping around all the profiles. And in the past, I've kind of done it with like a brush, but it's not near as detailed. Um, this one, they were kind of looking for more of a defined line, so I opted to try what we call a pin bottle or a needle bottle. And essentially, it's a real small bottle. I think this one holds like an ounce, and it has a really fine needle on the end. I don't remember what gauge it was. I got these off of Amazon. And for the most part, for me never doing this before, it actually worked out quite well, better than I expected. The biggest thing is is learning as far as to make sure to tip the bottle up so the, the fluid runs to the needle right away. And so when you gently squeeze the bottle, you gotta start moving immediately. Otherwise, you'll puddle up at the very beginning. And I spent more time trying to clean up excess of heavy spots than was actually uh, trying to do the glazing itself. Now, this glaze is probably a little on the thin side as well. I did run um, a straight, uncut version for this versus the flood glaze I put over the entire door. I cut it one-to-one -one just to keep the color of the stain, although I need a little bit from the glaze, but straight Van Dyke Brown was too much, so that's why I ended up cutting it. But for the pinstriping, I used full strength and tried to keep it as thick as possible. So. If this gets approved, I'm going to try to look for uh, maybe a different size needle bottle. I've actually got a couple leads from a couple other people on Instagram to um, look at this, so we'll see what I find out. But for the most part, this was kind of fun, but it is very time consuming. And if they approve this, I think there's between 45 and 50 doors and drawer fronts in this job. And then there's actually uh, a bunch of raised panel ends on the cabinets as well. So. If they approve it, I've got my work cut out for me, and I'm not really looking forward to it. But anything I can do to make it easier and better for myself would be great.